Howdy again, it's Mr. Pete, the old shop teacher, and let's have a short video today on how to make something. I'll try to keep it as short as I can. So I'm going to make this little brass hammer. Now, if you've watched that recent video, and 45,000 people did, of me unboxing that ugly green toolbox, I found this in the top of the Kennedy box, and I basically threw it away. I thought, well, you know, what good is this beat up little thing? Well, later on, I picked it out of the trash and decided, you know, this is a handy little tool to be used. Leave it on the milling machine or, or whatever as a dedicated tool for doing the wrapping and the adjusting and so on. Somewhat like Randy Richards in the shop little wrapper that he sells. This one he gave me. It's brass on one end and it's plastic on the other end and it's filled with shot. So that's so handy to move things around on the mill, but so will this be. So let's begin. Okay, this is one inch diameter brass and I've already cut a piece. There it is. And the only thing I have to do to this is face both ends and I've already faced one end. So I'll face the other, find the middle, and we're going to go over to the milling machine and drill and ream a hole right in the center. And rather than make the handle with a knurled handle, knurling is just troubling for most people. That's not a bad knurl, but I do like the looks of that. But instead, I'm going to use this uh, three-quarter inch hexagon. I think it's three-quarters. Yeah, three-quarters across the flat. But just about anything would do. You could even have round without a knurl, and you know, it's still not going to get away from you. But it's nice to have that grip. It's kind of cute, isn't it? I'm glad I'm making this. Maybe you can make one too, with whatever materials you have in stock. And I had this one inch brass, and it's real free machining. Some brass isn't. All right, let's go to the. Uh, closing lathe and this is only uh, two and a quarter not quite two and a half long this was probably two and a half before it became mushroomed but that gives it character doesn't it a lot of character to that little hammer okay let's face and chamfer Okay, here's the setup on the bridge port. There is a V-block here that's sitting on a parallel and it's holding the brass slug here uh, firmly. And I will find the center with the edge finder. Use a center drill. One size under 3 eighths and I'm going to ream it 3 eighths. And there'll be no narration for that. Okay, let's have some dimensions again. Some of this is a repeat, four and three quarters. One inch, one inch, three eighths diameter, five eighths diameter, and this was again three quarter hex. Put a little bit of a chamfer on there. Now what I'm going to do next is, that's such a good fit, I am going to use 
Loctite and then I will finish it off with a 5 32nd roll pin to go right through the center and at first on the other one here I thought that the handle was threaded into the head but in fact there is a pin there you can't really tell but it is magnetic so they used a pin I didn't want a pin so large that it would weaken the diameter right here so I think this is well that's still a pretty big hole isn't it maybe I should use eighth I want to locate the hole right on the center I already have one line and here's how I'm doing it there's probably all kinds of ways but I'm taking my height gauge bringing it right up till it's touching and I'm going to zero it out and then I will drop it by five hundred thousandths because this is one hundred uh, is one inch so locking unlocking both of those I'll come down to minus 500 hopefully you can see that I'll center punch it and I'm going to drill 1 8 inch and use the 8 inch pin I believe Well, that's about it. I gave it a little bit of Peterson superficial polishing. You know, on the brass itself, there's still some dings in here and some paint because this, in fact, this bar was used as a drift. So you can see how it's been mushroomed. Both ends were all buggered up, you know, it's been pounded on, but it doesn't matter for what this is because it's going to soon take a beating. So that's it. A little Loctite in there as I didn't show that and the pin and it's not going anywhere. Make yourself one. This is Mr. Pete saying so long for now. So there's our little wrapper and our Randy Richard in the shop. Wrapper tapper. So long for now.